This next topic, let's talk about the 7,500 federal tax credit, the Tesla one, and explain it. Still, to this day, I still get uh, some misconceptions out there. So let's just quickly run through it. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to buying a Tesla, we have a clear understanding. So this is what sparked it. I got this comment today on one of my videos. I actually read all the comments on our videos. So if you've got something to you know talk about, you know, put it down in the comment. But this one right here. So X Reed, thanks for posting this or commenting on this. Quote, few people qualify for the full 7,500 EV tax credit. Waste of time to even consider it for the average Tesla buyer. So that sounds like a old type of common, old way of thinking of what it was because it used to be that the 7,500 federal tax credit, you had to make enough money or have enough tax liability. And it was like this whole mess where like you would file for your taxes next year and get it at that time and all this random stuff. Well, in 2024, they made it way easier. And now it's a point of sale discount. So when you go on Tesla's website and you actually see like all these different boxes that show that it could qualify for the vehicle, like especially a long range real wheel drive, which I think personally is one of the better deals at the moment. You can see it's got a box that says 7,500 include the discount. You can actually look at the criteria and it simply just says this. You can make as money as much money. Sorry. You can make as little money as you want, but you cannot make as more money than these thresholds right here. So first one is $150,000. If you're a single person, $225,000. If you're head of household and $300,000 thousand dollars if you're married coupled file and jointly and the key thing with this is this is actually based on your agi or adjusted gross income so if you've got ways to lower that well maybe we'll make a video separate like on that or actually there is uh there's actually a full video on that on the channel if you want to look uh type in like a workaround for that there's a way to get a way to lower it for that and so here are the vehicles that qualify and it is simply put once you do a self-certification on the tesla back end after you place your deposit on a Tesla. And of course, after you use a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description, then you can get a quick and easy 7,500 federal tax credit that's removed off of the price of the vehicle. It's not lower sales tax, but it is lower financing and lower. It is a lower financing, a low, actually at least lower amount because it's a 7,500 removal of that. So all you have to do is use a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description, click it open, let it load on your browser, then head on over to a Tesla inventory website, inventory vehicle like this one that has a $2,800 discount on that. And you can see it already gets this green check mark. So you get that extra $1,000 off. And then once you go into the back end of actually placing a deposit and doing the financing, which you should not do the financing unless you have the VIN for the vehicle and you're going to be taking delivery within that month because financing doesn't last past 30 days and you might have to reapply again. But during this process, you actually get a self-certification tax form that says that you certify that you make less than these income limits and the vehicle qualifies and then you on Tesla will be able to minus that full 7,500 right off of the price of the vehicle. And as long as you don't make more than these income limits, you will be fine when it comes to tax season. You can make as little as, I mean, you probably won't get approved for the vehicle, but you can really make any amounts of money. There's people that get it at $40,000 or $50,000 in terms of income limits or income that they make and they get, they get the full 7,500. And on top of that, there's plenty of other local and state level incentives as well. Here is a great website that I'll put in the live, live chat that's called Electric for All that allows you to search based on your location for state level incentives and also you know certain utility level incentives as well. And there's a lot out there. And of course, you've got to apply for these and go through the programs to try and get them. And on top of that, there's programs for electric vehicle charging stations as well. So there's a ton out there for sure. If you're in Southern California and you're watching this right now, I know half a, a quarter of you are, definitely hit reach out to our friend Smart Plug EV, hit up the owner Mario in the California, Southern California area. He's well versed in all the different programs that are out there. And I really like him because he is a Tesla authorized installer for the for the Tesla chargers. I like that because you get a longer warranty and it's trusted and they've gone through the different certifications to make it Tesla authorized to get an install for the charger. And so if you're interested, hit him up, hit him up, hit up Mario and ask for the dentist deal so that he can hook you up and know where you're coming from. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. 